of all the pages. But then I got three pages, single space, with more comments, etc. She tore my article. <laughs> again, I'm a fairly smart, or was once upon a time, and I'm Phi Beta Kappa from Amherst College, Harvard also, all that crap. And, uh, and so uh, I thought it was pretty bright. Well, I finally said to her, Ann, do you do this for all your students? She said, no, but I knew you'd listen to me. <laughs> Glad I never had her as my professor. She <laughs> tore everything up. Um, now, this part of the program may or not, may not interest some of you, but what I'm going to try to do is give you the essentials of how to repair puzzle boxes, and I'm mainly operating on task lines. Now, don't, no one remembers this back in the AGTC meeting, the last AGTC meeting, but uh, for um, um, Greg Fullerton had brought some old puzzles to it, and one of them got crushed in shipping the box, okay? Where's Greg? Right here. And uh, so uh, I said, I'll take it and do it. Hey, how much do I pay for you? Well, I'm not going to collect any money from Greg Fullerton. Come on now. This is a better set. But Greg, just to show you what can be done with, and this is a 19th century box. You ready to catch it? Well, would you dare take it? Are you ready to catch it? I'll throw it right over to you. Open your arm. You can see it's a plate. Come on. Come on. You better catch this thing. There you go. Now, now there's a box. Now, this is not museum quality work. But that box isn't worth the Mona Lisa. You got that? But it's repaired. And it's going to hold, and I left in the stitching from someone who tried to repair it earlier with the stitching. <laughs> you work from the inside, and see all that white tape on the inside? I don't try to hide that because I like to give away the fact that there has been uh, work done from the inside of the boxes. All my replacement pieces, uh, and Ann Wayne, the one who uh, requested or suggested this, are initialed and dated. But uh, on the surface of it, How's that? That's what you can do if you want to. Now, you all get pastime boxes. They all fall apart. This is one this guy just picked out sitting around there. Another one. Repair from the inside. But on the pastime boxes, I'll, I'll tell you what, Gills, I cheated. There's two ways you can, on these broken corners and things like this, two ways you can repair them. You can actually just do the tape entirely from the inside and you'll never see it from the outside. But that's not as strong as bringing the tape up over the corner and back down in the outside. Now on a white pastime box, white on white approximately, because these boxes are so soiled that it's not white. Yeah. Uh, you can see a little bit of a difference, but that doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, you know, Ron will be the judge, you know. But feel the sturdiness of that, Ron. Come on now, I know it doesn't equal your wooden handmade boxes, but I mean, I'm, I'm not to your level. I'm just a hack repair guy, you know, a puzzle box or a puzzle repair guy. That's all I got. But you can do this. And on, uh, we'll say on that one there, I did bring it up and over, and then I used some paints to disguise the corners on that, okay? See, the, you, can, you can spot my difference and stuff like that. But that box is now solid. That, it should be lined when you put the pieces in. That's another thing. If you notice, if you buy puzzles from me, the past times more and more, I am lining with archival tissue paper. The insides of puzzle boxes, I'm afraid that some of the acidity that ruins puzzle pieces is coming from them lying face down on the bottom of the box, and the acidity is coming up to the box. My, another one of my theories, I haven't seen that approved or anything like that. <laughs> but uh, now, how do you do all this stuff? The secret is here. This is gummed linen hanging tape. You probably can get it at your local art store if it's well supplied. I buy it from University Products. The website is University Products. That's not difficult to remember. They're in Holyoke, Massachusetts. You'll probably pay more for it. Probably find it cheaper somewhere on the internet. Mark always finds things cheaper. <laughs> and, uh, but you know, something like that. This is the key. This is the secret. If you take away one thing from my 